We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Join us on the third leg of the family saga as we left Johnson's Key and we sailed back through Georgetown all the way up to Norman's Pond Key. We just left Johnson's Key. It's actually very nice sailing weather, as you can see. We've got a captain that's very Love relaxed. <laughs> and we've got a Cody up. What's the wind speed? 17. True. Look at that. So this is not even a high tide yet. And we are through the worst, apparently, according to the captain. So we need to go through here. And it looks like we're going to make it. So we're heading for Georgetown. But this is like scary shallow. So I guess I need to brace myself in case we hit something here. And it is not looking good. are very brave. Crazy. Madness, not crazy, madness. I came to stand in the forward cockpit because I'm so scared of going flying over the front part. But we like literally on the sandbank now. So we can just get over it and then I think we a for okay. Georgetown, here we come. We are still here at Elizabeth Harbor and um, Georgetown is over there. We're waiting for a parade, the Junkanoo parade. And then we will move on. But look at this beautiful morning. Last night we had a get together of, I think about five leper boats here on Sisu. That was quite good. So we were 14, 10 adults and four children on Sisu. And it was a great night. So we are at Please and, oh, Peace and Plainly. And yes, a nice piano. I think we're going to have Milani do that. And this is the oldest building, not even the bar, the oldest building in the Bahamas. And the, and look at this. I cannot get in here. I need to go like. And Don't forget Harbor Island is the first capital of the Bahamas. And this is how they pour Harbor Island with the pink sand is. Uh -huh. we thought that's the first center of commerce, 1717. This is rum and then you get some coke. Top it up. Yeah, and top it brown it. Yeah, just brown. browning. Browning, browning, there you go. Which yeah. And there's plenty left for the uh, next three ones. <laughs> just me. Like one on y'all, like sneak up on y'all. <laughs> Don't sneak up on us, please. It's gonna sneak up, I know. Go, Jay, get too fast now. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, goodness. Um, and that's such a cute little bar. And, and, and oh, the candles is not on. And then, of course, the kiddies. Hi. They, they're getting veggies, as we are doing over here. 
but also like not not it's like <laughs> and it's so cute. So I was explaining to the lady that uh, this is one of the oldest buildings on Exuma, but Harbor Island, uh, north of Luthra, um, which is a little bit uh, northwest of us. Uh, that's the first center of commerce. It's the first capital of the Bahamas. And you're talking 1717 during the pirate era, Black Bear. And, and, and this Bonnie. is 1783. 1783. So all the, all the um, money that was coming from England was coming through Luthra. Oh. If you walk along the uh, shoreline um, of North Eleuthera, you'll find where they used to hide slaves uh, and hide gold. Uh, they did a rope and pulley system. So they'd have a small hole, they would erect a, a pulley system, and there would be a, a bigger hole with a big rock. And they'd use the pulley system to move the rock, and they would put gold in there or whatever loot they had. Around towards Spanish Wells in the north end, uh, St. George's Key, is where they would hide slaves. So some of the caves you can you can jump down in, or you can walk around. That's how big they are. Sure. And so we have also Preacher's Cave there, um, which is where the loyalists that were loyal to the Queen, they were going to the Carolinas. Oh, loyalists! Yes, yeah. yes, I so remember they that. Yeah. It's called uh, the Devil's Backbone, uh, which is the second largest barrier reef next to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So, so and those buildings in Luthria, they ex they they survived the hurricanes and all of that. Yes. Yes, so but they, they stayed in a cave called Preacher's Cave, um, which is on a beach near the Devil's Backbone. And so that's where the, most of the loyalists were. And they were between there, uh, what was called Charlestown, which is now Nassau, and the Carolinas. So that was the focal point. Oh, so we, we, we only know about Black Sails, the, the TV series. So if you watch Black that Sails. TV series, they talk about Harbor Island. Um, I thought point. they talk, so, and they from Nassau, right? The story as it progresses, then yeah. they talk about Nassau. But originally, first, they were talking about Harbor Island. Oh! Yes, which is called Dunmore Town, which is after the fourth Duke of Earl um, from Virginia. My goodness! The fourth Duke of Dunmore, excuse me, uh, from Virginia. So that's where Dunmore Town or Harbor Island gets its name from. Okay. And that was the first capital of the Bahamas, and then it became uh, Nassau or Charlestown. For the record, I need. Glasses, not glasses. <laughs> so, what you need to do is like. Uh, oof, my you have to goodness, layer it. You're going to layer it. Yeah, you, know, you have to like layer it. What? Floating it. No, I don't know about layering. Like float. Just layer it good. You see? Float. Floating it. And it separates naturally. Uh huh. And Jeston is good. Jeston. 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 Look at that. Yeah. My God, it was no, goodness. It's, it's so you call it a spring bucket. The yes. spring bucket. But you have to slog it down uh -huh. and swallow oh it down. Oh my goodness. No problem. You know how to swirl and swallow. Right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Jason, you have to hear that. No, don't laugh, Jason. You have to hear that. Frank Bucky! Frank Bucky! The start of the Junkanoo 2023 in Bahamas, Georgetown. So everything is happening starting over there, and apparently they're going to come past here. Junkanoo Carnival is an exciting and colorful festival that takes place in the Bahamas. It's a lively event, as you can see, filled with music, dance, and elaborate costumes. Traditionally, Junkanoo was a celebration held on Boxing Day and New Year's Day. It originated during the days of slavery and was a way for enslaved Africans to celebrate their culture and express themselves through music and dance. Junkanoo Carnival brings people from all walks of life together fostering a sense of unity and pride in the Bahamian culture. It is a time for family and friends to come together and celebrate their shared heritage. Just the Chenhawa coming out, nothing serious. 
Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. Sure, lucky that one is closed. Second one of the day. Woohoo! There we go. It's sweaty. But other than that, I think we're gonna have a pool and jumps. We've got beautiful typical Bahamian water with white beaches. It looks stunning. We are anchored here at Blow Hole Key. We will go over there, the blow hole is there. Not sure you guys can see it, but look at this water. So blue, blue, blue. For in case you wonder what this is, so it's a frick design. It is a super duper flopper stopper because the boat is doing. No, I'm just joking. It's a swing for the children. So, for in case everyone asks why is the boom so high, is to make a nice swing. Okay, we are here closer to the... Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! It's like a little fountain! <laughs> okay, another one. Big one. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Get it, cops. We are on our way to spear fishing. <laughs> oh, no. Not sure the, the sound is good because we are on normal GoPro. But look at the sky. Hey, we are busy preparing. Oh. Like, like a preparing. <laughs> that. Big fence. Oh, and it's a little bit choppy. As you can see, we are jumping up and down. I feel the need to... What's it? Submerge. The urge to submerge. Not the need for speed. That's the difference, huh? Urge to submerge.
a Mai Mai on the line and Urban is fighting and the fish is fighting and hopefully Urban will win and it's on a cedar plaque, a purple one my goodness, don't let it fall ah yes, yes, yes we're all on this little, little tipex new tipex is very small <laughs> Off we go! We are on our way somewhere there. Not sure why everyone is going there, so we are going there too. We are like sheep. The water is so clear, always amazed by that. And here where the flip flops are, this is where the trail starts. So if you want to know where trail start, just look for a pink flip-flop. I think that is one of ours. And this is the trail. And some fun facts about the Bahamas. There is a scientific reason for the Bahamas' clear turquoise water. It appears so blue because many of the island beaches are quite wide and shallow. As the sun hits the golden sand below the waves, it scatters and reflects its aqua color. The water is also intensely clear, so much so that you can see the ocean floor 200 feet below the surface. Sediments in the ocean around the Bahamas are heavier and less likely to be stirred up by waves or currents. There is also less phytoplankton in the water that you can see on other beach destinations. Most of these islands have these spectacular walking trails, so a good exercise to get off the boat. And you can actually walk right across the island, so from the inner side of the islands where the flat clear water is all the way through to that big mighty Atlantic. And there's more than 700 islands in the Bahamas, though only about 30 are actually inhabited. Only scary bit is there is so many cracks all along and you never know which piece is going to break off. The Bahamas is home to the planet's third largest barrier reef. Can you believe that? Andros Barrier Reef, located on the east coast of Andros Islands, is 190 miles long. This massive living organism is unique even among the barrier reefs due to its rare depth of 6,000 feet, though much of it remains visible near the surface. So that over there is Norman's Key, and behind it is Lee Stocking Island where that boat is anchored. I check here. Sandbanks is right here next to us and right here in front of us is almost as if we're in rapids here. <laughs> we couldn't get closer, but yeah, that's the sandbanks. So we tried something different here. Over there is uh, leaf key is just around the corner where the iguanas is or are and we decide we want to just anchor here out in the open and if you can notice here's a sandbank over there here's a sandbank just right here next to us and the wind is is blowing if you look at the flags blowing like this but this is because it's current it's coming very forcefully from that side, pushing Sisu in that direction, but the wind is coming from that direction, so everything looks a little bit skew. Even the, our anchor is somewhere below. Somewhere below Sisu, <laughs> it's not at the back. It is good for the washing. <laughs> and everyone is working. And I'm busy now sorting out all the new files. <laughs> 